guys and welcome back to another episode. Um, this video I'm just going to be showing you guys a few of my muse, uh, guitars and the sort of equipment that I use so hope you enjoy. Alright so I'm basically just going to start off with how where I started from music. Um, I very first started getting into like the guitar and bands and all of that around the age of 13 I got my very first guitar uh, it was just a beginner acoustic guitar with nylon strings I'll show, you to, show it to you guys in a minute it's just behind me there fresh into high school grade 8 um, I just got this guitar for Christmas I started doing guitar lessons and that and um, yeah it basically all kicked off from there but I'll show you what it is anyway this was my very first guitar I ever got. It's just your basic beginner Ashton guitar. As you can see it's still in pretty good condition. There's no dints or anything on it and it's just your regular nylon string guitar. But um, but, um <coughs> that was basically, this was the guitar that I very first got. It was the guitar that I learnt basically all my chords and everything on so um, this is yeah the guitar that basically got me started off with where I am um, musically wise today I guess you know, I created a hardcore punk band and then I was in a hardcore band as well uh, you obviously can't do that on acu acoustic music <coughs> so I ended up getting for my birthday the next year I got from my old man Oh, my very first electric guitar, so it's just red, it's got a few few bloody dings on it and that from where, because this was the main guitar I used to use in um, my first band that I did create. I haven't used this guitar in actually quite a while, same with my beginner guitar, because I've got, yeah, upgraded and upgraded and yeah, I've got better guitars now. Um, so basically this is just your standard beginner electric guitar as well from Ashton if you can see there. This one I'm actually not too sure of the model on it because um, it doesn't say it anywhere and I'm not really too familiar with Ashton guitars. Um, I just learnt on them to begin with. Uh, and then as I started taking my music more seriously I wanted better sound because like like I said these are beginner guitars so obviously they're not going to have the best sound um, and I also got a little Ashton amp with this guitar as well it was like a combo deal um, but I no longer have that amp anymore so I created my um, punk hardcore punk band when I was living in Brisbane still I ended up buying a new amp which I will show you in a minute. It's currently not working but I plan on getting it fixed. I ended up getting this <coughs> I ended up getting this guitar here and I still use this guitar to this day. I'm no longer in a band anymore. I'm sorta of gotten out of once, like, once I move back to Brisbane, I will be starting up my hardcore punk band again and getting back into that scene, but for the time being, I'm just doing my own thing. I'm getting into acoustic music and all of that, but I'll, yeah, I'll get into that later. Um, but this is the guitar that I use for all my hardcore stuff, and I still use it to this day. It's a Ibanez G10. Um, that's the color of it there. I got this from Allen's Music Store in Brisbane on Queen Street. <coughs> but that's that one there. It's just a basic basic one. I haven't done anything to it. I do want to add some um, better pickups on it. The I like the upgraded Ibanez uh, pickups. I don't know what they're called but um, it's been yeah quite quite a good guitar over the years. I've had this guitar for phew, probably about six years now I think, five, six years, so it's quite, not old, but yeah, it's old for me because I've had it for quite a while. Um, and then once I moved up to 
Mount Isa where I'm currently living now. I, yeah, like I said, I joined the a hardcore band as a vocalist. Um, but then we sort of had a change around in the <coughs> um, lineup a little bit and I um, ended up playing guitar for a little bit before my departure from the band. So um, I used this guitar mainly in it, but for our really heavy songs that were in like Drop D or that sort of things, your real heavy sort of songs, I ended up buying this guitar here. It's a, if you can see, BC Rich. Um, I don't know what it is because I'm uh, BC Rich Revenge. There you go. It's the first BC Rich that I've owned. It's a pretty cool shape. The shape is mainly the reason why I got it. Um, but it's, yeah, it's just got your standard BC Rich pickups on it. But um, it's actually got a really, really heavy sound. Like this guitar is basically designed for your heavy music. It's got a really, really deep, chunky, hardcore sort of sound to it. So if, yeah, any who watches my videos and you want to start up a hardcore band or you're joining a hardcore band as a um, guitar player or whatever whether it be rhythm bloody solo player freaking whatever lead I would recommend BC Rich like not saying this guitar in particular but I have played a few other BC Riches as well and yeah they've all got really really chunky sort of sounds to them <clears throat> and you can also get them so they're not chunky as well like so you can play them in acoustic bands things like that they've got a huge variety but yeah BC Rich is a good brand of guitar um, my favorite brand would probably have to be Schecter uh, the Diamond series that's the dream guitar that I actually want and the Razorback but um, because I am really broke at the moment I can't afford that sort of guitar so these ones do me really well for the time being and then after I left the hardcore band that I was in I started as I was in the band as well I was writing my own um, acoustic stuff as well but then I started getting more into it after I left uh, the hardcore band that I was in and I ended up buying my first steel string acoustic guitar which is this one I've just added my name on there that's what I go by Kane Lloyd um, it's just your typical red it's a Kane guitar it's just a cheapy brand of acoustic because like I said I'm broke I can't afford the expensive stuff at the moment and I was sort of just getting into acoustic music so I didn't want to go out buy like a two thousand dollar guitar and then find out that I can't create acoustic music for shit and that I don't like it but um, that's the brand there if anyone wants to go and check them out. But um, for a cheap sort of guitar, it's actually got quite a nice sort of sound to it. Like, I don't mind it. Like, of course, as I progress further on in my music and everything like that and I get into recording, I'm not going to be using this guitar to record with because it hasn't got the type of sound that I want. But for someone who just wants to learn or muck around in like a garage band or weekend band or whatever this is a really like good cheap option for that but um, now I'll get into like the equipment that I sort of use but the recording program that I use a lot of you probably know what it is is Logic Studio or Logic Pro as it's called I'm sort of just getting familiar with it there's a lot that I don't know about it it takes a long time to learn how to use it like I watched I've watched bloody hours and hours of videos on YouTube on how to work this thing it's the amount of stuff that it's got on it is just unbelievable so yeah if you're getting into recording or whatever I really recommend that um, and when I'm I'll move on to the pedal that I use when I I only use one pedal I know people in bands and that they've got a big freaking smorgasbord of just shit tons of pedals that they use and I probably will get there one day but at the moment I only need the one it's a Boss MT2 
So metal zone, um, it just gives you that really, really beefy, hardcore sound that you want that your amp can't produce on its own without freaking getting a lot of gain and just sounding like shit and draining itself out. So that pedal helps a lot. Now I'll move on to the mics that I use. I don't have a certain brand of mic. I bought, this is my stage mic that I use when I'm on stage. Um, it's AM, it's an AMS MC60, if you can see there. But that's basically it. I've had this microphone since I started my hard uh, hardcore punk band in high school. So I've had this microphone for quite a while. And it's actually a fairly good microphone. Like I bought it secondhand from a music store for like 60 bucks. I just, yeah, because I was obviously not rich back in high school either I just had a part-time job so I basically went for the cheapest option and that was this one here and I still use this microphone in live shows today um, I haven't gone out and bought another microphone like I probably could go out and buy a better one but yeah this one I've been using it for years I like the sound that it puts out it doesn't put out a lot of feedback or anything so for a cheap microphone that's the way to go uh, and for my all my recording and everything I've got a bell ringer I think that's how you say it, bell ringer um, that I bought off eBay I think it cost me like $350 for this this is a proper recording microphone um, and like in the thing suitcase you get everything like your holder your cover for the microphone all of that um, that's basically it there it's a b2 pro so it's actually a really good microphone when you use this though I would recommend that you um, if you have this microphone or you're looking at buying this microphone um, I would recommend that you soundproof your room before you use it because it has got it will pick up anything like the speaker in this thing is just fucking absolutely phenomenal it'll yeah pick up every little sound every little detail in the sound wave it's yeah it's a really good microphone <coughs> so that's the bell ringer b2 pro i apologize if i'm saying it wrong but yeah that's how i look at saying it so um that's basically all my equipment that I've got to date that I use. I will, I have got a uh, Line 6 head that currently isn't working. I imported it from America and because stupid me, I didn't think about the voltage differences. I plugged it in the wall, turned it on and the fucking thing blew up. So now it's just an expensive paperweight. So I won't bother about showing you that, but it is a uh, Line 6 Spider. Uh, 75 watt amp head so if you want to yeah curious in that you can search it up and look for it uh, and then I've got a Marshall bass as well that I do use I'm not using it at the moment uh, because hey guys sorry my camera went flat so I had to charge it for the last hour I don't remember where I was up to in my video I think I was up to my amps um, so I'm basically yeah, just going to show you what amps that I've used and what I'm currently using. So that was the amp that I started using when I was with my hardcore punk band. I still used it to this day but the input plug is currently broken at the moment. <coughs> so I can't use it uh, but once that's repaired I'll go back to using it again. And this here is my little practice amp, it's just a 10 watt MG10 Marshall, so it's got all your clean volume, gain volume, and that's your volume for your dirty channel, and then your contour, and that button there is how you switch from clean to dirty. Um, so that's basically it. And that is the Marshall uh, base that I use to this day still, uh, but because my amp head is broken and my Ashton amp isn't working at the moment I'm yeah currently not using that I'm just using my little Marshall MG10 but uh, that's basically all the music gear and amps and guitars that I've used from 
high school all up to what I still use now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and stay tuned.